Hi, I'm Vibrating Samuels and welcome back to another episode of Soul Stone Astrology where I give you my textured take on the world of astrology. Well, we have this fabulous new moon taking place in Leo on the 23rd of July and it's at 0 degrees 44 of Leo. It's a powerful, potent new moon and it actually sets the context for the eclipses that are taking place in August. So we've got a lunar eclipse on August the 7th in Aquarius, and then we have a solar eclipse on August the 21st in Leo. So I'll get to that in the upcoming episodes, but this new moon is really, really powerful. And the reason for this is because there are so many planets in fire. So we have the sun and the moon conjunct, and then we have Mars conjuncting those two. They're all at zero degrees. And when you have planets at zero degrees, the planets then express the most purest aspect of what that planet represents. So it's potency, potency, potency. Also in Leo, there is Mercury, so the ability to communicate in very dynamic, motivational and inspirational ways. And then we've got two other planets in fire. We have Uranus in Aries and we have Saturn in Sagittarius. So we've got six planets lined up in fire on top of the North Node in Leo. So it's power, power, power to you. It's sort of like power on steroids. A really potent, dynamic time. It's literally everything you've ever dreamed of doing, trying to achieve, wanted to be seen in the world. This lineup of planetary energies is like the wind beneath your wings. You know, it's the universe that has your back and it's literally pushing you forward in the direction that you want to go in. Very, very, very powerful. Now, from this fire dynamic, we have a grand fire trine and that's formed between the North Node, which is trining Saturn and Uranus. Powerful. And so where you've got a grand fire trine, it's again, the universe has your back. This is about ease and dynamism and flow and energy and enthusiasm and inspiration. Now, when you think of the North Node, that's your future direction. We've got Saturn, which is trining Uranus, and they're both trining the North Node. And so you've got the old, which is blending beautifully with the new. And so here again is the signature, go for it. Go for what it is that you really want to achieve. It's a new moon, so it's a powerful time for you to be putting your plan into action, certainly detailing it, certainly visualizing, envisaging the type of life that you really want to lead. And then after this new moon, for the next couple of weeks, you begin, the plan will begin to take shape, but you've got to act because we've got the sun and the sun is about action. The sun's in Leo, the sign it rules. And there's a sense that you really come alive. You gain a sense of positivity and energy through action. So it's not a static time. It's not a time for you to be ruminating and thinking and, and getting caught up in the back story that's going on at the back of your mind about the woulda, shoulda, coulda, gonna, not quite sure. The time for that is done. The time for that is over. You've got this opportunity to really take center stage. You're actually being invited to become the impresario for your life. Direct it, go ahead and direct your life. We also have uh, only one planet in Earth and that's Pluto. So Pluto is about power, regeneration, cutting away the old. So it's, although it's one, pa one planet in Earth, it's a powerful one. Pluto also forms a square to Jupiter. Now here, it's this great sense of standing up for what you believe in. It's also about regenerating, creating, rebuilding, or leading the development of a movement. So I love this saying, which is, stand for something or you'll fall for anything. And so here again, the dreams that you have can be realized. It's time for you to build it. You know, we've got Pluto in Capricorn, so that's rolling up your sleeves, understanding what your values are, and then building towards them. We're seeing that Jupiter and Pluto played out beautifully in the public realm here in the UK, which has been beamed around the world, 
about this Grenfell Tower Inferno, this absolute human tragedy which could have been prevented. Um, I used to live and work in the area so I understand uh, the dynamics of the area and what we're seeing is this wonderful grassroots uh, campaigning movement holding the government but particularly the Royal Borough of Kensington and Chelsea holding them accountable. Last night for example there was this uh, some would say acrimonious meeting at the council whereby the new leader of the council was meeting the survivors and you know she had to deal with the barrage of hostility and the reality of what has happened because Grenfell Towers is Britain's Hurricane Katrina and the same things we saw play out there is what we're seeing played out here and so with the advent of community uh, or citizen journalism you know thank goodness for the internet what we're seeing are this group of, of, of survivors supporters and campaigners holding government officials accountable for what has happened ensuring that their voices are to be heard and their rights to be backed and so this is really a wonderful operation of Jupiter Square Pluto they are literally physically rebuilding their community and that's what this uh, aspect uh, refers to you're building something you could be literally constructing new homes which clearly are needed in this situation and so applying that to your life on top of this dynamic fire energy what is it that you can construct what is it that you can build that's going to be meaningful but you've got to be careful here because we've got Pluto so you must not be manipulative in trying to achieve the success that you're seeking because if you do it's going to undermine the effort so don't be manipulative and actually if you find that you're veering in that direction it's an indication that you've got more deep work to be done because the idea of transformation is that you shouldn't be manipulating you know you should have navigated your way through that so don't manipulate now is the time to use your power in a positive intelligent way and so coming back now with this you know what's going on in Leo what's going on in fire Leo represents the heart and so it's an invitation for you to journey back into your heart and the reason being is because you're on this on a quest to gain emotional control that's what this is about we're talking about the heart because with so much fire and very little earth although it's pluto and it's squaring jupiter you can run amok and that's what you're trying to prevent and so the other side of the coin for this planetary lineup is about how do you become the master or the mistress of your personality and so we're dealing with heart issues and heartache and heartbreak for example how have, how has your heart been affected by what life has offered you and and so here's an opportunity for you to journey back in to explore and and also to explore your individuation process who are you becoming? There is this invitation that's beckoning you to actually face the person who you are. Because if you're able to face the person who you are, you can then grow into the person that you are desiring to be. Very, very, very powerful. So what is it that it's calling for you to do? It wants you to master your personality. It wants you to take control of your emotions in a way where you're not flailing all over the place. It's asking you to look at the opposite sign to Leo, to look at Aquarius. And it's inviting you to, to think about how can you integrate the tolerance and the core evaluation that Aquarius offers to balance that with all of this fire energy because if you're able to balance that with your fire energy you can then become the director in the drama of your life and that's where you want to be you want to be in a place of causing your life to happen and not being in a place where you're at the mercy of effect that's what it's calling for how can you be at the point of cause and not effect. 
Which brings me to um, the question of the day. How are you able to conquer the raging inner lion? Because that's what this is about. It's time to showcase, you know, with all of this planetary uh, alignment in fire, with the north node there, so it's your future direction. Come and showcase. But don't come and showcase if you haven't handled your internal affairs. You haven't got a grip, a grip or you haven't grasped how to manoeuvre, how to work with the sometimes competing um, emotional uh, stimuli that you're faced with. And it brings me to the quote of the day, which is by Jung Pablo. And what he said is, is the truth in life is the realisation that you are your hero, your healer and your leader. So think about all of this energy in fire, it's in leader, the sign, it's, it's in Leo, the sign of leadership. And the quote is pointing to, how do you become your own hero, your own healer and your own leader? I think that's really beautiful actually, very powerful, very potent. And um, it speaks directly to me, I'm sure it will to you as well. So, that brings me to the end of this episode. I always love to engage with you, so put your comments in the comment box below. Share this episode with other people in your network. Um, feel free to like and subscribe to my channel. I'm also thinking of putting together uh, a mini astrological retreat, two to three days. Could be here in London or Europe. I'm undecided at the moment, but if you're interested in attending, the mini retreat, uh, pop a comment in the comment box below, or you can email me at bybreensamuels at googlemail.com. I'm also interested in bringing astrology to the workplace. So if you're a decision maker, or you've got the ear of a decision maker, get in touch, I'd love to discuss that with you. Or if you have a group of friends anywhere in the world who'd be interested in me bringing the mini retreat to you, get in touch. Until then, stay well, start planning, this is a phenomenal new moon in Leo, 23rd of July. Big things are about to happen. So until then, take care, beautiful people, and I will see you again on the next episode. Bye.